This week in Hollywood, it was time to celebrate the release of Alex Cross, a film based on the character from James Patterson's worldwide best-selling novels. It stars Tyler Perry, Matthew Fox and Edward Burns, who all walked the red carpet to screaming fans. Well, when Bill Block and Paul Hansen, the producers, sent it to me, I knew Jim Patterson's work and I, I saw the original Morgan Freeman films, but I also knew that Jim Patterson's character was very different than Morgan Freeman. He, Alex Cross in the books is 40 years old, he's built like a linebacker, he's very physical, and I wanted to say who could do that. We started talking about Tyler Perry and that was the end of it. James Patterson read one of my spec scripts, Honey Trap, and uh, he asked me if I would be interested in adapting Alex Cross. Of course, I jumped at the chance and I saw an opportunity to really reinvent the franchise. I was absolutely thrilled to do that. A good leader knows when to follow and I had some great people to follow. Rob Cohen's brilliant, so it was really comfortable letting go and having him take control. Uh, you know, I've never seen him and um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I really, you know, the Alex Cross, uh, the James Patterson franchise is not something I've ever really spent a lot of time with, so, uh, and I kind of liked that I was coming to it completely as a newbie and trying to figure this guy out. I think it was good that I didn't really feel like I had any boundaries that, that I had to, you know, put on what I was going to do with the guy, and uh, Rob and I got an opportunity to really just sort of go down the road that we thought was right, and, um... It was a lot of fun. Tyler's great to work with. He is, he's got this real, I mean, he's a big dude. Like, he's got this commanding presence, and he's this gentle giant. He's lovely. He's really easy to work with. He couldn't be sweeter. And, uh, and that's always nice when you're working with a really big star, because it could go one way or the other. I play Tyler's wife in the movie, um, and it's a really pivotal, it's a very, it's a cameo, but it's a very pivotal role in that it really sort of, it's, it's really what makes Alex Cross tick going forward from this point on. What happens to me is what makes Alex Cross do what he does going forward in the franchise as we, as we go on. Um, so it was a lot of fun to know that I had a small responsibility but a really big presence in the overall movie. You know, this guy's um, got some very, very strange ideas and trying to, um, and is just uh, kind of operates at an extremely high energy level. So uh, it did require a lot of, a lot of energy. And, um, but the physical part and sort of losing all that weight and focusing on that and being dedicated to it was difficult as well. So, I'm, I think Morgan did what he did and he was brilliant as always. And it's time, like a new James Bond, a new Alex Grove. You know, I was a fan of the books, a uh, fan of those first two films. But I think what Rob Cohen, the director, did, which was kind of brilliant, was you know, we've got a lot of procedural uh, cop shows on television. So this needed to be turned into more of an action thriller franchise. Well, the character has, has been revived because we've had about 12 books in the meantime. So uh, the character has been fine. I feel great. I, I, Morgan Freeman uh, did a you know, terrific job as Alex. And I'm really honored to have two great actors uh, uh, both do Alex Cross. Tyler Perry is going to blow everybody's mind. He is great in this part. Matthew Fox is going to blow their minds even bigger because they've never seen a Matthew Fox like this. Well, you know, we all know the Morgan Freeman movies, and Morgan Freeman is such an esteemed, extraordinary actor. And we wanted to pull it away from everything any, everyone had seen before and really make it a lot more dynamic, a lot more muscular, a lot more action. And uh, you know, I fully embraced that. And the, what the ideas we had was to take it back to the beginning of his story, an origin story and show him before he becomes the very famous detective that we're now more familiar with. I think I think everyone, certainly in the States, has heard of James Pat Patterson and Alex Cross, and I had seen the, the previous two movies, absolutely. Uh, when I talked to, to Rob Cohen originally about doing this, once you bring someone like Rob into the picture, you know that it's going to be action, action, explosions, cool stuff. So I was really excited to see what he was going to do with his spin of the Cross series. Yeah, the movie turned out great. It tests great, um, and um, I tell you, if if, if people like if, uh, if 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 people like Take, and they're gonna like this movie. Same elements, fast, fast paced, and very emotional. For all the best in entertainment news, find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and MNC.TV.